this video might win you over into loving Hoyas. Hi, I'm Laura, also known as Fancy Plants. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be showing off my Hoya collection. In my opinion, Hoyas are the cutest family of plants. Mine are especially cute. If you love Hoyas, you will probably like this video. If you don't have any Hoyas yet, this video might win you over into loving Hoyas. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would really appreciate if you subscribed. And let's look at Hoyas. I'm gonna start with my Hoya Crimson Queen because this is the first Hoya I ever received. I got her in a postal plant swap and she was just a two leaf cutting. And that was about two years ago. So this is how big she is now. Um, she started growing a lot more leaves once I put her under a grow light. Hoyas love bright light and I didn't fully understand that at the beginning. So for the first little while, she just kind of sat there. Once she started getting more light, she really exploded with growth. Um, she's called a crimson queen because her new leaves come out reddish pink. This one is just losing its blush color because it does fade to cream. Um, but when a new leaf, these new leaves are coming in and those will be a beautiful blush color. I have found that the more light she's getting, the brighter that pink is. Um, and I'm gonna talk about the Crimson Princess next, but they do look similar because they both have pinkish cream variegation. The Crimson Queen has the variegation on the outside and the Crimson Princess has the variegation on the inside. This Hoya made me fall in love with Hoyas. Um, fairly easy to find, not super rare, but super cute. All right, next up is the Hoya Crimson Princess. Um, here you can see the variegation is on the inside of the leaf. So a little saying I heard is Crimson Queen wears the crown, Crimson Princess wears the dress, meaning that the variegation is on the inside as like a dress and on the outside like a crown, if that helps you remember. This one doesn't have any new leaves at the moment, so there's no real pink at the moment, but this one I find the leaves can be even more pink than the Crimson Queen, um, especially if she's been getting bright light. This lady grows fairly quickly. I've had her for about one year, and I would say like all of the growth after here has come in this last year. Super pretty. I haven't gotten this one to bloom yet, but apparently the blooms are super, super beautiful. Next up, I have two of the same plants, so I'll just show them together. These are Hoya Carii Variegata Albo Marginata. That just means that the white variegation is on the outside. There are different varieties of Hoya Carii, some with the variegation on the inside, some with a splash of variegation, some just regular green. These have caused me some pain. Um, they originally came all potted together and because I didn't know what I was doing, I separated them and there was a third one. I've since learned that Hoya's roots are fairly sensitive. So if you absolutely need to repot a Hoya, be super careful and I definitely wasn't being as careful as I should have been. And if you can just avoid repotting your Hoya, even better. So when I repotted them, um, one promptly died. These two are doing okay, but for a long time there was zero growth. I only started seeing growth when I gave them a snip. So I cut, I cut the stem here and you can see there's a new little leaf coming in. And this one, I cut the stem here and this whole new leaf promptly grew in and there's another new leaf coming in there. So if you find your Hoyas aren't doing much, give them a snip. It definitely worked for me. I keep these two right under the grow light. They seem to love that bright light. I water them only when the leaves are super, super floppy and flexible. These guys do not need water very often. I find even less than my other Hoyas. I've seen photos of like huge trailing Hoya carii. I don't know if mine will ever get that big. I don't know if I live in the right climate for that to happen. For now, they're just really cute. The leaves are super adorable, little hearts. 
Um, one little caution I will say is that in plant nurseries you can often buy just a single Hoya carii leaf in a little tiny pot and it looks super adorable. Um, those will sometimes grow into a big plant but sometimes they won't. It just depends on whether there's a node included with that plant or if that plant is going to somehow develop a node. Just know that when you're buying a single leaf it might just stay a single leaf for a long time and good to know before you purchase. Hoya carrier. Right, so this is Hoya retusa. It's a funny little plant. I at first was not sure how much I loved this plant, but then it bloomed. It bloomed about six months ago and now it is blooming again. You can see a little bloom there and then there's a ton of little buds about to open <laughs> down here. Um, I actually got this Hoya for free because I had purchased a Hoya Carii from someone and she offered to give me this as well because she said it wasn't growing well for her. So I was like, okay. Um, it looks like a pile of sticks. It's kind of a funny little plant, but it's growing really well for me, blooming. I guess I will just learn to love her. Um, to me, it kind of reminds me of like a pine tree look. <laughs> I don't know really about this plant, but it's growing well and there is something cute about it, even if it's just kind of weird. There's another opening bloom right there. This is Hoya retusa. <laughs> All right, next up is Hoya carnosa compacta. Um, mine is non-variegated. You can get this in different types of variegation, but of course those are more expensive and more rare, harder to find. Um, this guy is doing well. Again, a lot of the new growth has come only since I moved him under a grow light. I find these leaves are just so adorable. However, because they are all curly and squished up like this, I found that pests tend to hide in the little crevices of the leaves. So I try to give it a really good rinse and get in there. Um, I have even scrubbed with a Q-tip q-tip to really get in there because at one point there was some thrips living in the little crevices but this plant is so beautiful it's super unique i find people um when they're visiting they immediately are like what plant is that because it is so eye-catching again i hope someday this is a beautiful trailing plant but for now it's just a little cutie next up is possibly the cutest of the hoyas i have this i believe is a hoya chelsea but then other times i think it might be a hoya matilda if you know please let me know the reason i don't know is because i got it in a plant swap um for a long time again this plant did not do a lot until i gave it a little snip so you can see here where i snipped it and then all of these new leaves came in. Um, I love that they're just like round and plump and chubby. This plant did get thrips. I was, I couldn't believe it because it's such a tiny little plant, um, but it did get thrips. It has survived, they're all gone now. Um, not much to say about this plant other than it is super cute. Again, I've seen people that have huge trailing ones. We'll see if mine gets there for now. It's the cute little baby of the family. Hoya Curtisii. This guy is doing very well. I actually bought this from um, a store that is in a town nearby that mostly sells like grow lights, hydroponic equipment, etc. Um, but then they also just propagate plants and sell those as well. And this one in the store was sitting directly below a grow light and I think that's why it is so full and lush. Um, I have this in the plastic pot I bought it in because as I learned, do not repot but the roots are coming out the bottom. So I think I do need to repot at some point. I've been putting it off though, because it's doing so well. We'll see, we'll see if I repot. But Hoya Curtisii, I feel like is almost underrated. Like the leaves are silvery blue. They're such a cute little shape and it grows really well for me. I only water when I can fold the leaves. And other than that, it just grows. Um, these are fairly easy to find now. I've seen them like at Home Depot and stuff, um, but none have been as full and lush as this one. So 
Hoya Curtisii, I definitely recommend this plant if you can get your hands on it. It's just super cute and grows like a weed. This is my Hoya Wayeti. I got this last spring, so it's still kind of new to me, but I love these little leaves. It reminds me of green beans in the garden. It's been growing really well for me so far. There is some new little growth coming in there. Who knows? Yeah, here too. So far, so good. Um, hasn't caused me any grief. It's just been growing and happy and super adorable. So this is just a regular old Hoya carnosa. This is considered like the most basic, most common Hoya, but the leaves have those beautiful Hoya veins. I think this plant is so beautiful. If your Hoya comes in a plastic nursery pot, leave it in the nursery pot. Those fragile roots that I was talking about that Hoyas have can actually attach to the pores or the little holes in the clay pots, therefore making it so much harder to remove the plant safely if you ever do need to repot. So leave your plant in the nursery pot it comes with, if at all possible. Um, I do have Hoyas in terracotta because I put them in terracotta before I knew about these very fragile roots that they have and now I'm terrified to remove them. But most of mine now, when I get a new one, I just leave it in the pot it comes in. This one was a gift and came in a nursery pot so I just put it in there. But this, like I said, is considered super basic but still so beautiful. It's growing super fast, I recommend. And the last Hoya I'm gonna show you today is my Hoya Publicalix Purple Hawaiian. It's called Purple Hawaiian because the fresh new leaves come in purple, almost black, which are so beautiful. They're like shiny and dark and wonderful. Um, Hoya Publicalix is fairly easy to find. There is splashier varieties. This one has a little bit of splash, but this one was like five bucks. So this is in no way a fancy one, but I still love it. I love those new leaves. This one grows great. It doesn't seem to need that super bright light that the other Hoyas love. I just have it sort of on my plant shelf and it's doing great. Haven't had this one for a super long time. This one did get thrips as well though, so I had to give it a snip, but since then it's been doing really well. Hoya Publicalix Purple Hawaiian. So that is the end of my Hoya tour. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.